How is how is the picture quality? It's okay. We change position. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, today we are officially reported that we are of PF for defamation of the president. It is uh, we are very concerned over the allegations that Nakachinda made against the president, the head of state of the Republic of Zambia, His Excellency Aka in the Ichirim. Rafael Nakachinda said the president has been meeting the judges in that corner meetings where is uh, inciting or rather uh, persuading the judges to look against all the ministers, the, all the, the members of parliament that were sent out of parliament. Because of this, we are very much concerned and we are not happy and we feel that Rafa Nakachinda is inciting the nation, is inciting the youths to rise against the president of the public of Zambia with his allegations. So we reported him for defamation of the president so that he can be arrested within 48 hours. Within 48 hours, Rafa Nakachinda should be arrested so that he can, uh, he can prove all the uh, allegations he raised against the, the Republican president. Thank you very much. We, we want to recognize uh, the Senator General and the Tuareg from the RFP and the NDC Youth Leadership and uh, Party Leadership. We want to thank you, dear colleagues, for coming uh, through to yeah, so this uh, very important uh, uh, and disappointing uh, moment where a named citizen, uh, very soon the police will review his identity. Uh, he has not only uh, defamed the president, but he has also made it possible for people to lose the confidence that which they have in the judiciary and uh, the uh, governance uh, systems which includes the executive which is the Zambia police and the presidency so we want to say the Zambia police we are grateful and uh, we do not want to allow fools to continue uh, speaking foolishness because uh, even in stupidity if continuously spoken in the eyes of people it becomes almost a partial truth so in order for us to remove that notion, we want to bring about civility in this country. Uh, it is indeed that we met uh, Rafael Nakachinda on the 10th of December, with my uh, two other colleagues, one other colleague is not around here. And uh, he did mention that uh, he had intentions of making this uh, government ungovernable. And uh, we have now proved that he was not joking. And uh, since he was not joking, we have also taken it that we don't want to go personal to allow the police to do a very thorough investigation. And uh, we don't want to do a mambo jumbo kind of arrangement. We want them to do a thorough investigation using other governance wings of this Republic of Zambia to make sure that uh, we come out with the correct results. And we are not over as citizens, as you can see. We are youths. We are united for the purpose of bringing dignity. The president must be addressing a lot of issues among us, them youth and employment. And then uh, we don't want the president to be defending himself over issues that which are petty as this one. So that alone will allow the police to wait, we will skid around and make sure that uh, we will do what we are supposed to do to empower ourselves and uh, make this republic a viable destination for the investors and for everybody of us. We thank you, dear police. Um, just a quick one, just an addition of uh, what has been planned. The youths we have uh, arrived, the youth of uh, the European Alliance. You see, uh, as we are committed to our campaign commitment, we are not uh, refraining Honorable Rafael Nakachinga to express himself as an opposition leader. But we want, we want uh, to help our dear colleague that as he's zooming, he should bring that, that bionocus to the police so that the police would help him uh, uh, try and zoom and see what is seen. Know, Maybe the Zambian okay. people are not seeing what is seen. So we're trying to help him out so that he's bring that biocracy here. Secondly, we want to set a, a frame that politicians should not just get excited and issue statements that are baseless, that are not a fact, and they go scot free because of uh, freedom of expression. You have, to, you have to know that freedom of expression comes with responsibility, that when you issue certain things, you have to have um, 
facts on the ground for you to prove your allegations. And secondly, um, we want to challenge the police. May wish to know that we want to be as consistent as we could. You know, they remember the gassing part. The gassing part, we have uh, a careless talk around it, and we lost members as a public. We lost over that. So we want the, uh, the, those who, who from the PF who said that they know the gassers should report themselves, or the police should follow them. Those are the things that we are fighting. It's just facts as we criticize the government. Thank you. Thank you. So how was the response to the come out? Have the police indicated this matter? What was your exchange? Uh, the police, to be honest with you, are very professional. We are received with uh, respect, which we appreciate. And uh, allow me to mention that uh, they promised that they are going to pursue this issue. It's a logical conclusion. So we really appreciate for the effort. And they are looking forward that within the stipulated time that we've given them, 24 for 10 hours, this matter should be concluded and we want to see Rafael Nagachinda arrested. Thank you. No questions.